guys. I'm here today with a twofer. So not just my glossy box, which this month says timeless treats, but also my paper gang, because I just can't resist. Look how lovely that is. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. It is my happy place and I come here to chat to you. So if you like seeing the things I've bought and just, you know, hauls and stuff like that, then please do give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe and leave a comment. It's Valentine's Day, guys, where I am. No, where we all are. It's Valentine's Day when I'm filming this. That's what I mean. <laughs> please, Bert. Bert is being an absolute pest. He obviously knows it's Valentine's Day. He wants to spend it sat in my lap. Um, I haven't seen my Nick yet. He was up and out to work at some ridiculous hour this morning. Um, so I haven't got anything. No card, no flowers. I know I will because Nick has, has to be one of the most sort of um, thoughtful, romantic men I've ever come across. In fact, he's better at it than I am, which is saying something. Um... I've got loads I should be doing, <laughs> but it's cold. Can you, I don't know if it'll come off on the camera, it probably won't, but it's so cold here. And the wind is blowing, it's making that howling noise. And whenever I hear that, you know, the wind really blowing like that on a building, I always think, oh, I just want to curl up with a cup of coffee and a box of chocolates, but I have got things to do. It's bad, that howling wind is bad. <laughs> I've got things to do. So I thought, well, I'll do this. At least then I feel like I've been slightly productive. I mean, it's not productive at all. <sighs> anyway, I lost my flow then. <laughs> Phone rang, had to go and do something, and I've kind of lost where I was. So anyway, let's get straight into Glossy Box. I mean, honestly, chuntering on about nothing, aren't I? Um, it's called Glossy Timeless Treats. And inside there's a quote by Audrey Hepburn that says, Beauty is being the best possible version of yourself inside and out. Lovely sentiment, but um, kind of easy for someone as gorgeous as Audrey Hepburn to say. Not like me and lots of others that have got to, you know, work really hard to try and look somewhat passable. <laughs> anyway, I've opened this up. As usual, a little black ribbon on it. And now you get one of these. You get a little card and it says, scan me. Um, and that gives you more information about what's in your box, should you need it. I don't usually bother, but, you know, if I come across something I don't know or I'm really lost by, it is handy to have. So here we go. First up, we have We Are Paradox Repair. It's a three-in-one conditioner hair mask. It's quite a reasonable size, that, actually. Um, what does it say? It's got carrageen moss for silk-like softness. Um, after shampooing, work on your hair, or use it as a mask and apply to damp or dry hair and leave overnight. Okay, I'm pretty well fixed for hair things at the moment. As you know, I've been using um, the Colour Wow and I think it's doing well. I mean, this is just washed and just had the loosest of blow dries. So I think it's going okay. It'll probably go in the giveaway, but it's tempting to keep it. I do like hair products. <laughs> then we have Vegan by Happy Skin Original Skin Essence Toner. It's chamomile, calendula and aloe. And again, a really nice size um, bottle. Does it say how big this bottle is? If it does, it's in tiny writing. Mm, 100 mils so that's not bad is it 100 mils let's have a sniff if it'll let me oh that smells nice it does smell really nice um again i'm gonna have to have a little look at my supplies i had so much over christmas you know that quite a lot of sort of basic things i've got a lot of but i'll have a look because that smells lovely i would be really tempted to use that one does it say anything about no it doesn't say i mean it's just a toner isn't it so but nice. Ooh, then we have something by Rituals called The Ritual of Mare, M-E-H-R. I've had something about mare before, haven't I? M-E-H-R. This is sparkling hair and body mist in a sweet orange and cedarwood. Ooh, okay. Well, that smells quite nice. 
Um, what does it smell like? Is this nice, that? Let me just spray that into the... Oh, you get the... Or oh, actually, that's lovely. Oh, here we go. I don't know how much you meant to use, but I'm going for it. Oh, that is nice. You do get the sweet orange, but it's cut down, so it's not... I don't feel like I smell like an orange. The cedar wood tones it down a little bit. That's lovely, actually. Don't know if it's something I'd ever buy a hair mist. I did years ago. I went, I went to a counter once um, to buy a makeup counter to buy the perfume that I was wearing at the time, and they'd brought out a hair mist. And she sort of persuaded me that it was a really good idea, and you know it would help amp up the perfume and so on. It really didn't. I can't say it made a lot of difference. So it's not something I'd buy, but. I'm not gonna say that it's not nice to have. You know, there are days, and I know that sometimes if I cook certain things, afterwards I keep thinking, does my hair smell of bacon, for example, or sausages? So it might be handy for that. So I'm gonna keep that one, I like it. Next up, we have something by The Beauty Crop, and it's called BFF, Brow Friends Forever. It's only a diddy little thing. What is it? Mm, it's grow and groom brow gel do you know i do very little with my brows mostly because they're under my fringe it's not a lot i can do with them really i know a lot of people spend a lot of time getting their brows right don't they this is enriched with nourishing vitamin e and conditioning castor oil i know castor oil is supposed to make them grow isn't it um our brow gel is your true bff when it comes to volumizing defining and taming your brows without them looking stiff well i don't know maybe i should be shaping my brows and and doing gels and, but I, I sort of associate that with younger people or as they say people that keep wear their hair off their face so that their brows are in view so i don't know that i'd use that but i, I really don't know that's what i'm going to have to have a little think about whether i can be bothered to add brows to the things that i already do please bird i <laughs> i'm gonna have to have a think about it oh please bird always a pain in the bum right and last but not least out of the glossy box do you know i feel like this is taking forever to do i've had about three interruptions so far in doing this last but not least is Ila Masca liquid eyeliner um i don't use eyeliner very much i've started i don't know if anybody's noticed i've started doing the waterline with an eyeliner i think that's quite good i'm tempted to try this one this is only a little one it is black I'm just sort of dipping it in the lashes just to give a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't do underneath anymore. Um, but I have started just trying to blacken the base of my eyelashes to get, make it look like I've got thicker. Make it look like I've got thicker eyelashes. So I might actually keep and use that one, which is unusual for me because I generally don't keep eyeliners very often. Um, and certainly not liquid ones. But let's have a let's have a see if I can get it out what does it look like there it is nice sleek black pass packaging passaging i oh and i see my words today and if i just okay so if i try and do a thin line oh yes it's got a lovely point on that so i could do quite a thick line or i can do just the tiny oh yes tiny actually i like that a lot wasn't expecting myself to say that when i saw what it was i like that a lot i could definitely use that amongst my lashes and look at that, no smudging, I'm rubbing it, I'm rubbing it hard, no smudging, really pleased. So that was it for Glossy Box, the liquid eyeliner, the hairspray that, I can smell it, it's very nice actually, so I wouldn't buy it, but I'm happy to have it. The, um, <laughs> the toner that smells gorgeous. The Brows Forever, which as I say, for me, the jury's out. I'm going to have to have a think, see if I fancy doing that. And the Paradox Hair Mask or Conditioner. Anyway, that was Glossy Box for the month of February. Now then, let's do what I really love, Paper Gang. Look how pretty the design is on this. I'm loving it. Not just because it's pink, but I love the tigers and the hearts and everything. It's obviously got, you know, Valentine's in mind. 
I think they're boxes. The way they package everything is beautiful. As you know, with Paper Gang, every four boxes that they sell, they plant one tree. Um, here's my leaflets of what's inside. And look, I mean, they just wrap it all so beautifully, which I suppose is right for a stationary box. But I'm still impressed. But then I am easily impressed. So here we go. Ooh, I'm liking what I can see already. So this is about the year of the tiger. Um, and the designs, normally it says, it says Millie. Millie is an illustrator, Millie Amber, an illustrator based in London who specialises in textiles and pattern designs. There isn't a picture of Millie, I don't think. I normally like to show them if there is one, give them a, you know, no. It's got lots of pretty things in here. Oh, things to cut out and, and so on. Uh, information, oh, to make a paper garland. You cut those out and you can make a paper garland. Um, you can get this design as wallpaper on your phone. You know, lots of little bits, but it's Year of the Tiger. So first out is an A5 notepad, lined paper with Year of the Tiger pattern. Isn't that lovely? I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. That is so, so nice. That will sit on my desk looking really stylish, won't it? Happy with that. Then, oh, this is different. A temporary tattoo sheet. A sheet of colour and black and white temporary tattoos. Cut out your tattoo, peel back film, apply the tattoo and then hold with a damp flannel. Just like when I was a kid, I used to buy these things. Oh, I like that. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? That's so different. I remember that with kids, but we used to lick them. <laughs> there was no damp flannels. We just used to sit there licking and then you'd carefully peel it off. And hopefully, um, usually you had half a tattoo, but you'd try, wouldn't you? So <laughs> like that. Then we've got an HB pencil set. It's a set of HB pencils with gold dipped ends and inspirational quotes. So this one says... I'm unpredictable. I think that's fairly true. I'm confident, depends on the day. And I'm a tiger. <laughs> I like those. I'm always using pencils. I go through them at a heck of a rate because I write a lot of notes and I have a diary and various things. So I'm always happy. Then we have, I think it must be in this little bag, a set of bulldog clips. It says a set of matte black bulldog clips in an embroidered cotton bag. It is very cute, this bag, actually. It's got little flowers and things on it. And then inside, oh yeah, look at those. Oh, they are very modern, very stylish looking bulldog clips. How many are in there? Let's have a look. I think it's four, is it four? Yes, four bulldog clips. I like those a lot. Look, they're so stylish. They're so sort of modern looking. And in the little pouch. Then we have a pair of scissors. Haven't had scissors for a while. Have had them, but I haven't had them for a while. These are gold stainless steel scissors. They are nice. They are nice. I like that. Again, on the desk, looking stylish. I like that. They've got a lovely curve on them. I want to cut something now to see what it's like. Um... <laughs> But I don't want to cut up my nice new notepad. <laughs> and then finally, a really pretty gold double pencil sharpener. Do you know, I had to really think then. A gold double pencil sharpener for, presumably, the new pens. Yep, they will fit in there beautifully. And everything else. And again, can sit out and look quite stylish not like my ratty stuff I do have things I've had for a while <laughs> they look pretty ratty anyway that was paper gang oh I do love this box so the scissors I keep wanting to call it a screwdriver pencil sharpener three lovely pens a pack of black bulldog clips the temporary tattoos I can see myself having some fun with these with the boys actually to be fair I think we could have a laugh. And this beautiful, beautiful notepad. So that's it for Paper Gang. I was so excited to open this one. When I saw the colours on the box, I knew I was going to really like it. But 
being honest, it's not very often that I don't like it. So of course, it being Monday, it is of course laundry day. <laughs> Washing and ironing to be done. Um, and I've been clearing out quite a lot of things. Do you know, I can actually walk in my dairy at the moment. I didn't in the end film it. I got the feeling that it was a bit sort of, uh, whatever, but it just wasn't something that, that people really wanted to see. So um, I just cracked on and did it. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff I threw away. The things I was keeping, I can be such a pack rat sometimes. Really, I can. Um, I was putting boxes that I had no idea what was in them. And then I was opening them up and I was like, oh my God, there was an old printer, for example, in a box in there. Not the original box now, a, a removals box that I'd had for X number of years <laughs> before we moved here. And then we moved here and Nick got one that anyone could, you know, a wireless one that anyone could tap into. So we didn't need one each. So it stayed in the box in there and it had been in there. I mean, we've been here four years, I think now. So it was, it was and it was as yellow as hell. You wouldn't have seen it. But it's just weird, weird the things I hang on to that I know at some point I've gone, hmm, I could do something with that. But it's getting around to doing it, isn't it? Anyway, that's me. It was just a quickie. It was just a twofer. Uh, it was a bit chaotic. And I'll see you really soon. Okay, bye guys. Bertie, you are so beautiful. Look at the camera. Look, look, Bert. <laughs> no, he just wants to look at me. Okay, bye.